Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Monday, January 5th, 2024. Almost said 2023. And we're going to do a video of six mini trucks. And these mini trucks recently came in. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to call this my, um, I'm going to call this my February 3rd. Uh, video because um, we have I'm going to do several blocks of videos and I try to give them a distinct date so this is my February 3rd um, video even though today is February 5th so I hope that makes sense all right guys the first vehicle we're going to do is a Suzuki carry there is the VIN number and now let's take a look around the windshield at this mini truck. And you can see pebble pecks and places where it's surface rusted. That is surface rust. So I can tell right off the bat that this is a utility grade vehicle, but it's got a ding right there that was touched up. These are water droplets. <clears throat> the front bumper is in good condition and now we're going to come down the pillar <clears throat> and look at the door so we have uh, a piece of paint missing there that surface rusted um, and we have a scratch right there and some some slight pebble pecks there those will come off you can see where the paint is detached there there's the inside of the wheel housing good looking tire the bedside panel doesn't have any dings at all um, it did have a rail cap but that has come off um, you can see the bed is actually in pretty good condition. It's just got surface rust. So I want to show you here what I mean by that. That's dirt right there. But that's surface rust. That is not rust through or cancer. And I'm going to look at the other side when I come around to see if there, there's a change in the condition over there. This is dirty and scratched. That is all. Not a big deal you can see here where it's got some paint scratched off where they you know ran stuff into the bed the back of the tailgate has several dings in it you know like probably 10 or 11 dings on the tailgate there but you know whoever had the truck they used it they didn't abuse it but they used it and so we're going to see in a moment the condition of the interior. It's got a little surface rust right there. That's not rust through. You can see the other side doesn't have uh, any rust through there. <clears throat> now let's look under the bed. That is probably more important, or at least as important, as the top of the bed. And it looks really nice. Okay, coming down the door post, looking at the door, we have one ding right there and a slight crease, not bad, but a small crease right there. So structurally, underneath, this thing's in really good condition. This is called seam rust. That is an almost all the time thing, and this is very light seam rust. Very light. That's where the pieces of metal were spot welded together. Looking good. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so that seat looks nice. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the driver's side. Uh, 
39,766. So that's like 24,500 miles. Very low. That is very low. That is all Mayberry Mini Trucks likes to get is low mileage stuff. I've always been that way. That looks nice under there. Because there's a correlation between low miles and longevity. So this seat is also nice. But you can see where it's come detached at the top. So you may want to put that back over and resecure it. The seat's not torn. Five speed, four wheel drive. Very nice, low mileage truck. Next is a dump. This is a Suzuki carry. There's the VIN number. And now we're gonna look around the perimeter of the windshield. Looking good. Looking nice. Yep, very nice. You can see here where they repainted, they, they touched up there. Um, it's not really a problem, like a rust issue going on, but you can see where they touched up some here for, but it doesn't have cancer but it was touched up there. And now we're gonna look at the front and the front of the vehicle has a ding, a crease ding there, a ding there. And a ding there. Coming down the door and we also have a ding right there. Coming down a door pillar, looking at the door, it's got mud on it. I wish, you know, when somebody was driving by, it splashed. So it's got a scratch here, 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 here that were touched up and a slight indentation there. It's got aluminum wheels. And so what happens is somebody goes flying past here. Or maybe they drove it, but I think it was, they drove past it and splashed it, or both. That looks good under there. It's got a little crack in the paint right there. is dead. I was going to try to lift it. So now the bedside panel looks good. It's just got, um, you know, little specks of surface rust is what you see there. And the bed of the dump is really in good condition. It is all the paint is worn off, but there's no cancer. There's no rust through anywhere on the bed it's just that it's been used and it is not damaged it's got every bit of life in it that we would like to say it has this is the rear of the tailgate again it's pretty well dented up and dinged up and this bedside panel is whole it's not cancer it's not rusty it's just got a few bumps and bruises in it. And here is the bottom of the bed. Looking, looking good. I wish I could lift it. This um, piston is probably four inches in diameter. This model has an enormous piston on it. There's a ding there, a ding there, and a ding there. Somebody touched up a scratch right there.
I'm doing this so you can see if there's any rust underneath. This has aluminum wheels and good tires. Um, now here we have a little bit of surface rust here where there was probably water on the floor, but that's surface rust. That is not rust through. I've already looked at this. <clears throat> the seat on the passenger side is in good condition. This is a two-speed transfer case. So this has four high and four low. And that's fairly common with something like this, a dump. Uh, four high and four low, four speeds. 49,062. It says it came with air conditioning. Don't know if it works or not because the battery's dead. But that's about 30,000, 30,500 original miles. And here is a shot of the bottom of the door. Looking good. And here is the seat. It's got a tear in it right there. And a separation there on three of the stitching points. Headliner looks good. Huh. That's the shipping, the wharf. Next, we have a Honda HA4. There's the VIN number. And now what we're going to do is we're going to video. This antenna is bent. Ah, I wish it wasn't bent, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, we're going to video the perimeter of the windshield. So we do have just a little bit, uh, just a speck right there coming around the perimeter of the windshield you can see it has a dent right there so it actually has a dent that went back you can see where it got scratched the front of the truck actually is ding free beautiful now here's our bent antenna I was talking about earlier. <clears throat> the door. The door has a scratch right here, but not a dent. It has a ding right there. The rest of it is ding free. It's got a scratch there. And a little indentation right there. Here is the bottom side of the inner fender. Looking pretty good. And the bedside panel. The bedside panel has a scratch there, a little abrasion right there. But the bedside panel, guys, is ding free. That's pretty remarkable. We do have an impression here. Somebody backed into something and hit that right there. A ding there. A ding from the inside out there and a ding from the inside out there. The inside of the bed itself looks really good. No rust issues, just a little surface rust right there where the paint got scratched off. Good looking engine cover. Good looking bed. Very nice. Let's look at the other side. Okay, so here we have a scratch down the side of the top rail. Scratch there and a scratch there. Not bad denting, but pretty serious you know scratches there's the bottom of the bed 
Honda beds are hard to show. The bottom. The bottom. So there's that that dent on the top I was showing you previously. And we're gonna come down the door post and this looks pretty good. Let's see under here. Looking good. Now let's look at the underside of the door. That's just a little surface rust discoloration is all that is. This is the bottom of the door. Oh, we have a battery. That's nice. Oh, we have our bolts. Boy, is that nice. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave those right there. I was about to put them on, but okay, so that looks really good under there. So there's our toolkit, windshield washer fluid, jack, jack handle. Beautiful seat. Now for the driver's side. This is the bottom of the door. And you can see here, no rust there. And now, under the floor mat looks really good. This is the seat where it's pretty well split in three different places. The seat back looks good. This has 19,000, uh, 019103. So that's like the 12 or 13,000 original miles. The Honda is a five speed, four wheel drive. Right, yeah, four wheel drive, good looking vehicle. Nice. Next, we have a Honda, and here is the VIN number, right there. Now, we're gonna come up to windshield. My wipers are up. That means the battery is dead. But the perimeter of this windshield looks great. Really nice decals. That's something I notice. I mean, and we have one ding. A very small ding right there. Okay. Antenna looks good on this Honda. I think the other one, it was bent. Yep. And coming down the door... See, now this is something I would notice. Do you see how nice that plastic is? I don't know if you can see that. But that piece of plastic, <laughs> it looks really good. I don't know if that means anything. But we have a ding there. And we have a crease here. The little surface rust and scratches there. Good looking tire. Good looking wheel. Very nice under there. And here we have a little, just a little bubble of surface rust. It's not rust through. And here we have about five or six dings. Some from the inside, some from the outside. We've got a ding here, 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 here. And I think that right there, maybe. Nothing huge, but worth pointing out. All right, so now it's hard to show. Like I was saying, it's hard to show the bottom of a Honda because they occupy their real estate so efficiently. Oh, look at these battery bolts. These guys are like little gold nuggets. You do not want to lose these. As I drop them in the dirt. <laughs> uh.
I know this is taking time, but it's worth it. Okay. All right. Under the bed mat. Very nice. Just a little scratched up metal there where it's surface rusted. And the engine cover looks beautiful. Now let's do the engine cover. I'm, I'm sorry, the bed mat, the other direction. That's dirt. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what? It's hard to see it, but let me tell you, this bed is going to be beautiful. It's all dirt. That's all dirt. Okay, so did I do... I don't think I did this bedside panel. So we have a crease right there. We have a ding there, there, and there. Now coming down the door post. Boy, I see one ding right there. One ding. Not bad, not bad. I wish it wasn't so muddy, but we've had just a tsunami of rain. There is our battery cover, which we really like to see. Now, looking under the floor mat, ah, this is soundproofing material. That's why that mat sticks. That's beautiful under there. And there is our jack, windshield washer fluid, and jack handle. Good looking seat. Nothing wrong with that. Let's look under the door. Looks good. Very nice. She got some surface rust there, but that is surface rust. Here is good. Here we have uh, a little pinhole there and a pinhole there. Well, pencil eraser size hole there. It looks good under there. This came with air condition, interestingly. The, both wipers are up. I wonder what that says. Huh, interesting. Don't know that the air works. My guess is that it does because that was depressed, which means that the previous individual was probably using it. This is a five speed four wheel drive Honda with 25,884. So that's like 16, 17,000 original miles, guys. Beautiful seat. Might have air conditioning. It just has a little bit of and it's not even cancer. A wire brush, just wire brush the daylights out of that and coat it with some good Valspar. That will go a long way. All right. So that, one, two, three, four, five. Now we have a Suzuki Carry. And we're going to go around the perimeter of the windshield. I'm trying to straighten an antenna that got bent. No, I didn't do too bad. Lots of experience. There we go. It's, 
It needs a little more time, more than 10 seconds with one hand. Coming around the perimeter of the windshield, this roof looks really nice. Beautiful, like luster on the paint. Also, a clear headlight door. That's a good sign. Under there, yeah. looks great. A scratch got touched up. Looks really good under there, too. Yeah, as far as dings or dents, there are none. Now we're going to come down the door pillar. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. One ding, one shopping cart ding right there. Here is the inner fender. Beautiful. <clears throat> the bedside panel has three dings. One here, one here, and one here. Beautiful, very nice. Let's look under the bed. Good. Frame looks nice. Very nice. Good looking tires. Let's look at the bed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Boy, is this pretty. Man, that is so nice. I like to hook these up because it gets them off of here and that stains it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dings on the back of that tailgate. Nothing big, so I don't want to overstate it, but I certainly don't want to understate it. I'll tell you something else. This corner is really good looking. All right, now this bedside panel, guys, is ding free. Beautiful. <sighs> okay. Coming down this door post, looking for dings or dents. A very, very, almost imperceptible pencil point ding there. Probably not worth mentioning, but I did see it, so. But I want to qualify that. And we have a ding there and a dent there. Good looking inner fender. All right, now bottom of the door. Beautiful. Good looking seat. This is a five speed four wheel drive. No, oh, is this thing clean? Wow, look at that. Man, oh man. Somebody really babied this thing. So I'm curious what the mileage is. Isn't that something? 60,573. You'd think it would be like 9,000 miles, but that's 37,000 original miles. Or 37,500 perhaps. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looking good under there. This does have a crack in it. That floor mat is all torn up, but we do have some floor mats, I think. And um, five speed, four wheel drive. Boy, that's not bad. Touch the key and it fires right up. Good looking truck, really nice, beautiful. Here is a Subaru Sandbar, four-wheel drive. There's the VIN number. Coming around the perimeter of the windshield.
looking good all pretty and tight guys the front of this truck is ding free that is nice <clears throat> Coming down the door pillar, looking for dings, dents, and rust. Beautiful. We have just almost imperceptible, but boy, do I have a keen eye. I don't think you'll ever see it, but there's a small impression right there. I think that's me making something out of nothing, but I'd rather say it and then have you say, what is that guy talking about? I can't see what he was talking about. That's nice under there. All right. So now this whole side is completely ding free, guys. Isn't that nice? This is, this is drip rust here just from... The articulation of the pin and the loop. Huh, look at that spare tire. The bottom of the bed. Looking really good. We'll get a view from the other side too. Now the inside of the bed. Beautiful. Boy, is this nice. So, this whole bed looks gorgeous and this is a three and a half washer truck one two three and a half you might want to get two five inch sections of hose and that goes a long way right there this was their attempt to tighten up the hinge i will fix all of those because it's such an easy fix, and it's the right fix, uh, instead of trying to take it up with tape or something. Not sure. Okay, so this has one ding on the tailgate, and it's very tiny right there. The rest of these are spot welds from the factory assembly. Ding free. Wow, wow, wow. Ding free. Ding free. Ding free. Oh, man, is that nice. This is beautiful. Boy, is this nice. Door post, a tiny ding right there. Tiny ding. Man, is that nice, guys. Beautiful. 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 I don't see any dings. This is a clean, clean truck. Right now. Beautiful. Wow, is that nice. Very nice. Got a separation right there, not really a tear, but a separation where the threads deteriorated. You could take like a curved needle and repair that. Get tissues. Subaru tool kit. Subaru tool kit. That goes there. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know what was up with that comb or that brush. That was so strange. Oh boy. You can tell somebody took care of this truck. That's uh, a piece of missing paint and surface rust and all that is. Huh. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, there we go. Look at this, guys. 
29,849. That's like 18,500 original miles. That's why this thing was looking so clean. The seat is torn, pretty torn up right there. You can get it recovered. You just take it to a upholstery shop. Good looking ceiling. Four, five, six. Okay, guys, so that about does it for our trucks. Um, that was six, and we're going to start with six more. I appreciate you watching our video. If you would, hit subscribe, the like button, and then notification. And then we'll uh, be able to let you know by hitting notification when we post a video. And then you can watch that video and say, hey, that's the truck I'm looking for. And then you can call us at 336-777-9957. And you can also email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And if you'd like, you can also check out our website at mayberryminitrucks.com. We're about to take all these for service. We use full synthetic 5W30 engine oil. And this is Roger and Henry. Hey, Roger. Hey, Henry. Hey, <laughs> these are our uh, do everything extraordinaire guys helping keeping the wheels turning at Mayberry Mini Trucks. Yes, sir. These are all done from here forward, have all been videoed. And um, and and also, guys, uh, we got the law passed in North Carolina, making them street legal. So all you have to do is take your title and your proof of insurance that we give you your title, get your proof of insurance, and you can go get it tagged. And most states in the United States do recognize the North Carolina mini truck uh, that it's a regular title, but they'll transfer it. Not all states, but most states. So um, call us if you have any questions, and we do appreciate you watching our video.